hey everybody welcome back to my channel now today this video would be a diy on doing micro links on my own hair and i know my hair looks thin in the front because i am losing my hair and i'm actually thinning out all over my head so i wanted to get some more fullness in my head and be able to treat my hair when i want to because it's easily you know accessible and this is just uh braidless tracks and it's very 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 cute um so right here i'm parting out my leave out and um yeah so basically i'm parting out the crown of my head and i'm gonna part out the sides of my head i don't i know i don't have of my hair i know i don't have a lot of hair on the side um because like i said my edges is thinning out so if you guys have like a really good idea or remedy of how i can get my hair to grow full and healthy i would love to know that and i would actually follow it with videos and you know um updates and stuff so yeah basically i'm just parting out the crown making sure that i have enough hair to cover what i need to cover up and um so that's what i'm doing right now so just take a look and follow along So, like I mentioned before, I'm parting out the my edges pretty much all around the perimeter of my head. And I am just making sure that I have enough hair out to cover the tracks. Um, if I decide to put my hair in a ponytail or wear it to the side or, you know, whatever I decide to do. If the wind blows for whatever reason, um, the tracks is covered. Um... So pretty much you want to part it all around the perimeter of your head and make sure it's enough hair. And I'm sorry about the lighting, guys. Further on in the video, I turned my ring light on so it'll be more clear. I didn't realize that it was so dark, but when I did, um, you guys would see because I, it, it's brighter um, further on in the video. So keep watching and if you need to... Um, if you need to rewind to see what I'm doing, you can do that. I had to put the speed up a little bit because I didn't want the video to be too long and dragged out. So continue watching. So as I clip the hair to get it out the way, here you go, it's more brighter, you can see the light is on and I'm zoomed in. So basically you want to part, um, you want to part a row where if you have done tracks in your head before, you know that you need a, a row of hair for the track, whether you are sewing it on or whether you make a part to glue the track in. Now, you want to make a part about a quarter inch um, and then you want to um, part that quarter inch row into maybe half an inch or more to put the beads on and pretty much you have the beading um, tool you have a clamp or a ply look plier looking thing of some sort which you can get at, at online at amazon or your local beauty supply store 
and um, you basically put the beads on the loop thingy and you take a piece of hair from the row as you can see going from you can either start at the left side or the right side you pull the the hair through the loop like you are um, beading a child's hair with a bead and <clears throat> you pull the loop out you push the bead as you can see um, with the with the plier thingy as close as possible to the scalp but not too close to the scalp because you don't want to pull your hair out and you squeeze it down now those beads they have a silicone type of plastic thingy inside so it protects your hair from the iron and um, that's basically it so you go from the left side or the right side and you meet in the middle and you connect those two pieces. you will notice when you're doing it yourself that if you have too much hair in the beads it won't um, it won't pull through so you might have to take some hair out now this hair is from my IB glam collection this is kinky straight and I used a 22 inch and a 20 inch and um, I ended up using about a pack and a half of hair I love my hair full I love a head full of hair but I couldn't put a lot of hair in my head because my hair is not full or thick enough for me to put that much weight on it so what you want to do you want to actually um, measure the the weft of the hair on the part or on the the beaded row that you're gonna put the weave on and then you want to cut the the weft of the weave before you start sewing now I double my um my tracks so what I did was I kind of sewed the ends of the two tracks that I'm gonna sew on the track on the row and I um, made sure that it was sewed together before I started sewing it on my head um, but you guys can do it however is comfortable for you guys I just did it that way because it was easier for me and um, whatever sewing method you prefer to use that's also fine I kind of push it through and double the loop like double the thread around the needle before pulling it tight and that's how I did the rest of my head so you guys enjoy the video and I will check in soon and give you guys an update as to what I'm doing now you guys can see how important it is to part out enough hair like I said and I will say it again I don't have a lot of hair around my edges so it's hard enough for me to you know blend and cover but it came out pretty good and I enjoyed it I loved it I got compliments on it so for me it was okay I mean what am I gonna do but try to get my hair healthy and strong again but anyways that's me spraying some um, heat protector on my head because on my on the hair and on my hair because I was gonna um, blow dry and straighten it um, I don't know if the blow dryer did any justice for this hair uh, it might have but I was just so impatient to really like take my time with it so I just was rushing but you guys will see the finished look um, I used the blow dryer and I used my flat iron and at the end of this video I will also um, add a picture or a video of me when I put some um, flexi rods and some perm rods in my head so enjoy the video and thank you guys so much for watching
Okay guys, so I'm wrapping up the video and I wanted to let you guys know that this flat iron I'm using is the bomb. Like, I got it from Sally's and when I tell you that it's the bomb, it's the bomb because it's cool after you use it on the hair. Um, I'm going to try to explain this even more. Like, you can see me touching the hair after I took the, after I flat iron it. After I flat iron it, I am still touching it because it's not hot. And most times after you use like a flat iron or curling iron on a piece of hair, the hair is hot. You have to wait like a few seconds for it to cool before you can touch it. But this wasn't the case with this flat iron. So it's one of my faves right now. And it's great on any type of hair, which is really good. And what I did with my bang or the crown of my head, I flat ironed it, I bumped it a little bit, and then I pinned it so that it could have like a nice little um, bounce and body to it.
So here you'll see me finishing up and what I did was after I bumped that and curled it a little bit I did pin it so that that curve or swoop or I'm gonna find the right word one day can be extra defined and then I went in with a big T comb to get that you know extra oomph but this is basically the finished look and i really love it like it was it's really nice like all i need right now is some edge control to control the little bit of edges i have going on and i think i'll be all set and like i said the hair i'm wearing is from my line and it's a kinky straight and it reminds me of a yaki like it doesn't completely get straight it still has a little kink in it, which is fine. But my hair is like extra straight, straight, even though it's natural. It gets extra straight. So it gave me, it gave me a little bit of yakky vibe, which was okay, you know. And um, yeah, I'm feeling this look. I'm making sure I'm getting a little bit of kitchen in the back that I got back there, so it looks, you know, nice and neat. And basically, that's what I did. And Eventually, I take the clip out. Now, you guys cannot tell me this look is not the bomb. Like, it's so natural. It gives me, like, you know, I don't know. It just, it, it makes me look like a kid, too, you know? <laughs> I don't look my age, which is really good, but damn, like, this look is really nice. I wish my edges wasn't like gone it would be really 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 nice but i have enough confidence to still rock this and feel like extremely gorge and i know my hair looks good i feel good um my lashes is the bomb very natural and i just love everything about this look um i did put some perm rods and some flexi rods in it eventually that's me goofing off with my favorite flat iron I'm showing you guys how i love it and i think i was trying to get a cute thumbnail but you guys can see that this look is really gorgeous, and i'm very happy with it thank you guys so much for watching i can't thank you guys enough thank you for watching hope you like and subscribe to my channel and i hope you enjoyed my video and i have so much more to come thank you again have a blessed day. Ciao.